arm in. So all this, the techniques we just did were without the arm in, guillotine. Now we're going to move to doing some stuff with the arm in, okay? Because people get this, you know, a long, for a long time people were like, oh, you can't finish, you can't finish, you can't finish. Then people started getting finished with it and fight after fight after fight. And they're like, oh, okay, so you can finish people with it. But this is really, really dangerous, okay, from a standing position. Because if I'm with a big, strong guy, wrestler, whatever, it's real, real easy for him to pick me up and slam me. So if, he, if, if, if Don gets me in this with his arm in, it almost gives me a, a grip back here, and I can hip in, and lift, and I can dump him, okay? So you gotta be real, real careful with this. So if you're gonna do the arm in guillotine, you gotta snap him down first, okay? And you'll see guys jump to guard with this. I don't like to jump to guard with this because it's really hard, if I jump to guard here, I jump the guard here, it's really hard for me to finish like this with my arm legs around him. If I'm going to finish from this position, I want to make sure my hip can smooth it out as far as I can and I work my body underneath his. But what we're going to do is we're going to do it in a way that I kind of modified it and it works really, really well for me. And I'm going to put my knee across his belly, okay? So first things first, if I get this arm in style guilty right here, I can't do it right here. If I try to go from right here, I, can, I end up putting myself in a really bad position. So I want to be able to snap him down first and then do it. So if we start from the same position, I'm here like this, pull him down to the ground, and then I step. If I'm, if I'm getting the, the, with the same side of his arm that I have in the guillotine, okay? I'm going to step up with that side. I'm going to lift a little bit here, and I'm actually going to sit to my hip. And you think you're, oh my god, you're letting the guy pass your guard. Because it looks like he's going to be passed my guard here. But it's not the case because <clears throat> when I sit to the hip, I move my knee across his belly almost immediately. I bring my leg up over his back. And I turn in to put the pressure. Okay. Now, we talked earlier about how we put the pressure on the, on the guillotine, okay? And if you try to lift the elbows up with the arm in guillotine, it doesn't work because his arm is blocking your forearm. So I try to lift up here, the elbows, and his arm's blocking. I can't put any pressure on his neck. So I gotta be able to keep space here on this side where his arm is and still be able to eliminate the space on the other side. So how do I do that? I actually take my elbows I push my elbows down towards my sides like this, and I lift my wrist upwards, but my elbows are going downwards. So I'm actually using my chest, not my shoulders. So if I was to lift like this, I'm using my shoulder muscles. If I push my elbows down, I'm actually using my chest muscles, which are much stronger muscles anyways. So you guys are gonna take, it, it's, it takes a long time to get the feel for this. So we're just now starting to, to feel what it feels like. It might take you months of practicing this before you really get the feel down. It's taken me years of practicing it to really get the feel down. So we're going to practice a couple of times. So again, we're going to start from a standing position. He's going to shoot up me. I'm going to grab arm in, feel him like this. I'm going to bring him to the ground like this. I'm going to lift up a little bit on this side just to create enough space for me to sit and put my knee across his belly. And then my leg's going to go over the head and I'm going to finish, okay? So let's just practice that a few times and we'll work, try to work out the buzzer from there. I go here like this. Can I try to get yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I try to get you know, my guard, I might miss it. So the reason why I sit to my hip and, and I, I'm always ready to extend this leg is because I will trap him on the on the side of the body that I want him. If I have him, if he anytime this arm and guillotine, if he's cross body on me, it doesn't work. And you see it all the time. You see a guy trying to do a guillotine like this. And it's cross body like this. This doesn't work. If it's the other way around with his legs over here, I can finish him right here, okay? But to secure the position, this leg is going to slide in underneath his belly. But if he tries to jump over, see that leg blocks? And if he jumps really high, he's going to get swept, okay? And this move is just as much of a sweep as it is a submission. And we'll go over it in more detail. But I wanted to stress to you guys. You guys I'm prepared to extend that leg if the guy's going to jump over. Okay, let's practice.
better. Like I said, this is taking me years and years and years to develop this show to get the feel for it. It's really hard to get the feel for it. But one of the things that I want to show you guys that might help you tap guys out with this is the pressure that you're trying to put on him is going to be, everybody go on this side right here, is going to be with my armpit pushing on the back of his head, okay? So I get the, the choke, and the pressure, I'm not trying to lift up with my arms. I won't, I won't be able to do that. I'm not strong enough anyway. I just take my body, and I take my shoulder, and I drive my, sh my armpit in the back of his head. So when I put the pressure, I'm putting that pressure like that, okay? And basically it's taking his head, and my hand's gonna be in here like this, it's taking his head, and I'm choking him with the pressure on the back of his head, I, you know, by you know just having my hand. It's this isn't the pressure that's really going to choke a guy out. It's that armpit that's being pushed in the back of his head. Are you sitting your hips any more into it or not? You're Maybe. scooting your hips underneath him. So when I'm here in this position, I'm scooting my body, my hips go underneath, and I put a little bit of pressure on his belly with this leg just to lift him up a little bit, so I can get more underneath him. Sorry, now I keep pushing the pressure. So I'm here <laughs> like this, and I scoot my body like that, in that direction. So, if that answers your question. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try it a couple more times. <clears throat> 